Hello everyone and welcome to Live in the Solution. I'm Mary Trimble with your readings for October the 29th through November the 4th. And first of all, I want to say thank you guys. What an amazing week. I mean, I got over 400 new subscribers. I mean, that's huge. Um, so I'm truly grateful for that from the bottom of my heart. Thank you so much. And all the views, it's the most I've had. So what a wonderful welcome back um, from my mum's funeral. And, and all those incredible uh, comments. I mean, just it just, you know, um, it deeply touched me. So I want to say thank you so much. Um, for all of the shares and the uh, likes and the comments. And um, so, guys, this these are general readings. So take what, you, what works for you and leave the rest. And if you would like a personal reading, click on here and go to my website. I offer different... Uh, a, a, a variety of read, re, uh, excuse me, a variety of read, readings. Oh my God, I can't talk. Um, so check it out. And um, and if you want a reading, you pay for it first and then you contact me and we make an appointment um, or some arrangement for however you want your reading uh, in what capacity. Um, I really appreciate you guys. I, I want to thank you so much for supporting my channel. I want to thank my patrons. And if you uh, would like to support me in any way, you can do a one-time donation of as little as anything, a dollar, whatever. Um, and Or you can do a dollar a week, a month, sorry. Whatever you like. But check me out on Patreon. That link is here. Um, now, guys, I... Uh, some I got a, some comments on my cards that um, turn they're translucent, right? That is my magical power. No, I'm only kidding. No, it's not. <laughs> it's the green screen. <laughs> so when a card is green or blue, it shows up as translucent. So it's kind of an interesting, uh, you know, effect. So I just thought I would let you know that, guys. And also, my lipstick is Sephora. Everybody was asking that. It's Sephora Matte. Um, it didn't have a number on it, so I'm not sure. But anyway, um, so those of you who asked about my lipstick, there you have it. Um, anyway, let's go. Oh, and also, for those of you who missed last week, I changed the format. I now do a horoscope for each sign Um tailored to each sign before the tarot reading so you don't have to skip anything except this if you're checking out your sun, sun moon and rising and all the links that you need to know are in the show more section below so check that out because all the links to the other videos are there also okay so let's go to your reading shall we Hello Taurus and welcome to your reading for October the 29th through November the 4th. Um, thank you so much for all your likes, shares and comments last week and please don't forget to do that again this week. Now, astrologically, wow, your charisma is off the charts. I have to put my glass on because I've got my notes here. Um, you know, I write this down before. Okay. Um, so yes, your charisma is off the charts, Taurus. You are just, your energy is so high this week. You're feeling excited and you have so much going on um, that you're probably thinking, how am I going to get all this done? It's that kind of busy, but it's a really good, exciting busy. Um, you're a hard worker and you really appreciate um the rewards for your hard work and you know you have no problems about working really hard and diligently um you go it's almost like you're going to have you first of all you're feeling attractive as well and you're feeling good which really sparks and lights that energy and fire up even more and and you're going to you could possibly have some really brilliant ideas for which to earn extra income or maybe start a business or something to do with your income. You are 
it's almost like you've got the Midas touch. You're really going to have these wonderful, uh, exciting ideas. Um, your excitement is palpable. It's so, it's so, you can feel it from you. It, it's almost like um, you haven't felt this energized or this inspired in a long time. Um, so take really advantage. You've got this feeling that's quite unusual, but you feel that anything is possible. There's no boundaries, right? That you've just got these brilliant ideas and you can do this. Now, I will just say um, that that during this time remain grounded, Taurus, because you, the, with, you've got um, Jupiter planet, it's playing a big part and it could, it's in your third house. It could have you um, fantasizing and, and being perhaps unrealistic. So hone it in, be grounded, yes, don't dampen that excitement, absolutely, but remain grounded. Remain down to earth and, and don't make uh, rash decisions financially. You know, don't, don't spend on a promise is what I'm saying. So, uh, you know, be, be careful and be grounded. Um, so now let's go to your cards, shall we? Now, the first card that comes out for you is interesting. It's the four of coins. This is saying that you're holding on to something that isn't working for you anymore. For some of you, it is financial, but for some of you, it's a relationship. I'm getting that you're... Um, in a relationship perhaps that's not working for you anymore for some of you and it's time to look look at this guy he's holding on and what he's doing he's like going like this he's blocking the energy so by holding on to something that doesn't work for you it's blocking the energy for those of you if it's financial don't be afraid to complete look sometimes we hold on to money and we block the energy of money right so we need to money's energy we need to allow it to flow from us to us freely right from us and to us um and we can only do that by spending it or giving it away but not what I'm saying is don't be silly about this. Be um, responsible when you're spending. You know, spend it on something that's going to create more money. So like an investment in a business, in your business or, you know, earning extra money, that's fine. Now, clarifying it, you've got the five of fire. I feel that you've got like internal conflict going on. And, I, and, and look, it could be out external, it could be about um, business, it could be about whether you should spend the money here or there. You may have a little money and you're um, vacillating as to how to spend it, where to put it. Um, make that decision because uh, I feel that you're going to, you know, that's what this is. It's like you're blocking, you're blocking that energy. So it's about really um, taking a look at when you, when you, what's going to bring you the best return. That's what I'm getting. You really have to look at what's going to bring you the best return, Taurus, and then do that. Uh, spend your money wisely there. Um, so you have to really, really look at things and ask yourself what it is. Don't go round and round in your head because you won't. It's, I think it would be better to kind of discuss it with somebody. To talk this out because you need to kind of sort this out. You need to sort it out because otherwise you're going to block it. And you won't, you won't be able to be abundant. You won't feel that abundance if you don't allow some of it to go. But in the right direction. I think you're aware that you need to put this money in the right place, um, but you're conflicted as to where or how to spend it or where to invest it. Now, the next card up for you is the Ace of Pentacles. Look at that. And the Ace of Pentacles um, 
It's where things look. It's beautiful. Look at that card. It's where things have started to, you're starting to see a payoff for the hard work that you've done. Um, I feel that you've really worked hard and you're starting to see it right now. And, and, and it's a really lovely feeling. Perhaps that's why you're a little apprehensive about um, letting money go right now because you're like, oh, will it come back? Um, clarifying it, you've got the two of earth. Darling, things are happening. This is just like your astrological reading. There's a lot going on. You need to be a multitasker and you need to focus this week. It's important to keep the focus because things are happening. It's really exciting. And <laughs> Taurus, this is great. You've got the three of wands. That is your ships coming in, darling. This is really saying that you have to make long-term optimistic plans. You know, I, I'm getting that, that uh, old cliche, right? If you fail to plan, you plan to fail. So this is really about making plans and optimistic long-term plans. These things are really happening for you. Uh, Taurus, I really feel this. And right next to that, you've got the King of Cups. This is saying during this time, remain uh, stoic, you know, uh, have control over your emotions. Um, don't be um, don't react to situations from emotions. So this is about really tempering your whole mood and think before you react. It's this, look, the king is this wonderful leader and he really takes care of his people. Now, he's got a lot of, when I first got these cards, I kept thinking he was the king of um, fire because of all the orange and red, right? But he's not. He's the king of water. He is like, um, he, he is this well of deep emotions, but he doesn't, he doesn't let them out. He doesn't let people see those deep emotions. He, he remains stoic and he remains strong. He feels that showing emotions are, um, a weakness. Um, so what I'm getting for this, and look, the Saturn, this is restriction, restriction of your emotions, right? This is really um, being careful how you react to people. Just be stoic, I think. I'm not saying stuff your emotions and don't feel them, but be very careful about how you let your emotions out. And look, um, you have the moon. Now, the moon is going to shed a light and it sheds a light, um, it sheds a light on, it sheds a light on the earth, right? And then, and it lights up the shadows, right? So we can see in the shadows. This, this represents truth to me. And it's also about emotions and it's about, this is about want. you know, the moon wants, um, just like you, the moon wants security, right? Um, but it's also emotional. So what I'm getting for this is, look, your security is in your optimistic long-term plans for the future. Um, it's also about controlling, self-control. It's about self-control. It's also about looking at the truth in the situation. So don't be, you know, with all this excitement and all this energy coming in, this, there's lots going on for you this week. Um, it's really important to remain grounded and to see the truth. Don't go off into fantasy land because, you know, you've got the sun conjunct um, uh, uh, Venus, sorry, Jupiter, and you are going to be, um, 
you're going to be making these fantastical plans, right? So just remain grounded and, re and ask yourself constantly, what is the truth here? What is feasible? What is realistic? And, and you know, the, I always think that the moon is about embracing your shadow side too. Look, we're all multifaceted people, right? And there's a time that we need to use our, um, our shadow side. You know, there's a place for that. And, you know, we're, none of us are completely wonderful and good. We all have different sides to us. Um, you know, love yourself, shadows and all. You know, embrace the whole of you. Then you can be whole. So listen, next week looks really exciting for you. Um, I'm so uh, I'm so grateful to you all. Boris, thank you so much for tuning in. Please don't forget to like this video, share it on your social media, comment. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Thank you so much. Mwah! I love you all and I'll see you next week. Oh.